Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The story of Amundsen and Scott's race to the South Pole, ending in triumph for one and death for the other, reads like a Greek tragedy. It is the stuff of legends. Generations of British school children, and no doubt Norwegian ones too, have been brought up on it. They have been urged by their elders to emulate the grace and humanity and victory of Amundsen, the stoicism and selfless courage of Robert Falcon Scott, Captain Oates and their companions. Each of these polar heroes has attained mythical status. It's not so surprising. They trekked 900 miles totally alone and beyond support or help across the most hostile terrain on earth. Their only hope lay in their own resolve and hardiness and faith in one another and their God. Their exploits passed into legend exactly because they would never be repeated, could never be repeated. That is, until Henry Worsley and the lads came along. I find it hugely poignant that the participants in the Scott Amundsen centenary race are all British servicemen. All but one of the original members of Scott's team were serving sailors or soldiers. That today's armed forces can produce individuals to emulate the extraordinary feats of their forebears is something that we should take great heart from. In a rapidly changing world, it is reassuring to know that two things at least haven't changed this past hundred years. The fortitude of our men and women in uniform, and that very particular British trait of always seeking to push the boundaries, or, as many gathered here would have it, to go beyond that last blue mountain barred with snow across that angry or that glimmering sea. That the race chose to support through the Royal British Legion, Battleback's new centre in Lillishall could not be more appropriate. The same levels of courage and determination demonstrated by our Antarctic heroes in 1912 and 2012 are shown each and every day by our wounded servicemen and women. Their courage and spirit simply humble me. In the final entry in his diary, Captain Scott wrote, had we lived, I should have had a tale to tell of the hardihood, endurance, and courage of my companions, which would have stirred the heart of every Englishman. Scott need have no fear for his legacy. It has been reinforced and safeguarded by the members of the Scott Amundsen Centenary Race, of which I am so proud to have been patron. Henry, Mark, members of your teams, you too have stirred our hearts. Thank you.
stick. Is that, is that the case?
Absolutely, we've got Vic to meet you again. This is the little Hugo, Eric Scott, three weeks old. Hugo. Three weeks old today. That's a super baby. Uh, yeah, after his dad. No, I'm only joking. We're quite looking for a union jack. Team, Thank <laughs> you. 